everybody has a story. We're, we're sitting in front of the fireplace. We got the window cracked. It's really intimate. It's, uh, it's very romantic. It's very romantic. That's how I do it. That's why they call me Teddy Beer. <laughs> oh, speak. Make sure you speak into it, right? We can hear you. Go ahead. The uh, the host Danielle yeah. said that she had never been with a black guy. Right. And uh, me either. <laughs> Could be now it is, yes, on a podcast only. I don't <laughs> Wife gets no ideas. No, baby, no. Just gotta try to put it in your butt. Don't mean that I want to swing that way. That was just one time. <laughs> Man, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Mikey Milios. Yeah. Mikey Milios. That's right. Man, that sound like a gangster name. Sound like you break legs or something, run numbers. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how long you been doing comedy? Uh, seven years. Wow. Okay. What's your favorite comedy experience? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like uh, I like not dying. <laughs> it's probably high up on the list. Is that high up on the list? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've you've just done comedy out here in Arizona? Or where you traveled or? Well, I traveled a bit, and okay. um, uh, you know. Um, I've done it in Australia and in different countries and uh, in New York and places. Yeah. I, I've actually done the least comedy I've done in Arizona. <laughs> Australia, bro, how was that? Is it, what's the toughest crowd? I mean, in all the places you've been. Um, I had the hardest crowd I did. I was doing a solo show in Edinburgh and there was this crowd of like 20 year old like hipsters. Oh, wow. And they were just like... They were judging everything. I was doing a solo, what, like an hour. Oh, shit. And they were just like, they didn't laugh at anything for the whole hour. And I ended up, I was like, why are you guys still here? <laughs> you know? At one point, this dude pulled out a camera and started filming. I'm like, why are you filming this? You know, do you want to go home and not laugh as well? <laughs> the camera out my face. At least give me some instant gratification and shit. Yeah, yeah, Maybe I, they go home and laugh a lot just to piss you off. You know? Yeah, fucking hipsters. <laughs> hipsters. I'll go home and laugh. I hipsters ended up leaving I ended laugh. up leaving the show. Did you? I, I was like, you guys, I don't know why you're staying. I'm going. You see you ever seen that movie um Coming to America? Yeah, yeah. With Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. You know how a dude drops the mic and he's like, sex your chocolate. And nobody clapping, <laughs> yeah. so he just drops that shit and leave. Yeah, did you do something like that? I did exactly. I said <laughs> I said like, sexy chocolate. <laughs> And they, they didn't get the reference because they were 20. <laughs> man, man, I definitely enjoyed your set, though. That, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's what's up. So you, you normally do stuff with Mellow Beat? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's really cool. I really like Bobby uh, Mellow Beat. Uh, that's what the B stands for. <laughs> I hope right, I'm not giving away you industry secrets. <laughs> No, he's great. He's, he's great. Like, he's putting on these shows and right. working really hard to right. yeah, get comedy out there. Yeah, that's what's up. So do you have, like, a website or any other things, places we can reach you besides social media or, you know, anything you want to give a shout-out to? I, I have a website, but it's not up. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, you sound like you're trying to get a date. Yeah, it's girl, right you know, I got my own website. <laughs> I got to give that my website some Cialis. <laughs> you gotta get it up, huh? <laughs> Don't stop taking it up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I'm on, yeah, social media. Okay. Facebook, I tweet a lot. And then that car goes to Facebook as well. Do you get a lot of people liking your tweets, man? Nobody like what I got to say. At least some, not enough for me. I get, I get weird shit. Like, um, I'll check Twitter and I'll have like five retweets from something I said like four months ago. <laughs> From people that are, like, I'm, I, as soon as I get like a retweet, I like, I'm like i checking to see how many followers they have. Because it's like, if they got none, it's like some tree falling in the wood shit. I'm like, if, if you get retweeted by someone that's got like two followers, they don't make a sound. Like, what the point was that? You should have just liked this shit and left it alone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Stick around, get your money's worth, and do not leave. Man, it's, it's been fun, bro. I'm glad you came and sat down with me. Thanks, Whenever man. you see me, come sit down because we also going to uh, promote you, put the interview up, put the, um, the, the where we recorded all the sets, too. So you'll see us. Check us out. Everybody has a story. Dot me. Go, Key.
Everybody has a story. Heard it here first, and we out.